Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So today we're discussing about how you can wirelessly control your Android devices. And this is going to be using the Android debugger tool that can come alongside with your Kali Linux machine, or if you have a Windows operating system, you could actually install it. And from there on, once the settings are correct, you'll be able to remotely control all of your Android devices and mirror the entire display or the screen into your operating system so it makes it really, really seamless for you to manage all these Android devices. So without further ado, let us get started on today's tutorial. So what we have here, you got to take note of the Android device. So we go into the Wi-Fi. So once you're in Wi-Fi, click under the settings. And once you're in setting, take note of the IP address as 192.168.1.5 so that we can connect to it remotely, wirelessly. So over here, I got a Kali Linux, which is a distribution of Linux that is connected and running virtually in the host personal computer. So what we'll do is we'll connect the USB of the mobile device into the operating system. And of course, once it has been connected, we'll see a pop-up demonstrating that we have the Android device connected into the personal computer. And going into Kali Linux, what we'll do is under Devices, USB, click onto the Samsung Android. So again, it could be any versions of Android. So in this case, we have the automatic notification coming out from Kali Linux saying that the Android device has been connected successfully. Right click, open in terminal, and we can actually zoom in a little so it's easier for you to see. So what we'll do, we'll enter on the ADB devices. And of course, this would actually tell us what are the devices currently connected into the system. So of course, in this case, we got a list of the devices attached. And what we will do is we'll enter ADB. TCP IP, say 9999, and hit enter on that. So it will restart into the TCP mode. And of course, right now it is a connection into the host operating system and we will actually disconnect it. And as long as it is connected wirelessly into the network, we'll be able to access it into the ADB. And of course, now we can see the ADB devices. So we'll enter ADB connect 192.168.1.5 followed by the port number of 9999. So of course this will allow us connection into the ADB devices. So we can enter ADB devices again and we can see the list of attachment. So all you gotta do is to run SC, RCPY, hit enter on that and we can remotely access the Android device from your Linux distribution. And of course it can be done for Windows operating system, CentOS, Ubuntu or any other distribution you're running that could support SC, RCPY. So it's not just about wirelessly controlling the display of your Android devices, but you can also think about ADB or Android debugger breach, about how you could actually send commands into the Android devices or changing applications or changing the performance of the features and functions within an Android device. So there's a lot of limitless possibilities that you can do in terms of managing those Android devices and we will discover and explore more of them in subsequent tutorials. So I hope you've learned something valuable again in today's sharing. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to write a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of those questions. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can become abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.